speak my language. She don't need me from no anguish. And she's super bad, hella patient. Damn, what I need friends for. Stab you in the back when yo, I'm saying, yo, yo, yo. These niggas dance on the table. What up, bitch? You know my name. Why she get her, you know, while body get her shit together, you know what I mean? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Will Sum It Up Podcast, where we got two people, two perspectives, one common goal, people, and that is what? Answers. Answers. So, 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 it's a marvelous Monday, so we figured, matter of fact, right now, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel at Will Sum It Up, what the fuck are you doing right now? Right. Go take your ass, subscribe to our channel right now, put that notification button, and make sure you put that uh that bell, like, comment, subscribe, put some hard buttons, do everything you need to do. You see what I'm saying, people? Because we got to work together. This is a team right effort. Now. We need you just as much as bad as you need us, people. And we love you. I don't want to get too emotional right now. But if y'all show us love, we're going to show y'all some love. We're we going to show y'all, y'all, y'all some motherfucking content. love. I'm going to start pranking this motherfucker over here. Hey, I got my shit going on today. My little, little drinky drink, you know what I'm saying, on this Monday. I know I'm looking kind of rough. I ain't shaved, but I'm saving my shaving for Friday because it's going down this weekend. So if you want to party with the Wheel of the podcast, fuck with me because it's going down. Make sure you tune into my story on Instagram. Make sure to tune into my po- post because it's going down this weekend. What's going down this weekend? Man, there's a lot of shit going down this weekend. What's going down this we weekend? My cousin getting married. Mm-hmm. It's our 11 year anniversary. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we just going to be doing some real, real big shit this weekend, you know. So make sure y'all stay tuned in, you know. And that's why it's important. If you don't follow my girl, Bali, Follow her ass right now on Instagram. All her shit is right up here. B-R-U-R, boo. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this is some whole life shit. This is some goals shit. This is some, you know, she got the twerk class coming up at the end of the month. You know what period, I mean? Period. Period. Twerk pool party at the end of the month. Next weekend. Next So if you want to get wet and you want to get that thing in check. Wet, wet. Get it. You know what I'm right, saying? Get it real wet. Let's just do it. So we got a lot of shit coming up. But look, today it's about you today, y'all. So we want to give y'all a little knowledge. You know, the funny thing is, is that when I was thinking, you know, we always come try to come up with different topics to talk about and stuff like that. So sometimes it's like, what are we going to talk about today? What are we going to talk about today? It's like, I don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about today. But today I, I've been watching. Great ass the, topic though. Great ass yes. topic. So I, I, I'm going to tell you the topic first. The to- What's the topic? You tell them. The topic is um, borrowing. borrowing. Do you let people borrow your people shit? Borrow, yeah. 
Do yeah. you let people borrow your shit? All right. Now, that's what the fuck we talking about today. We talking about people, you b letting people borrow your shit or have you ever been a borrower? We're not discriminating against borrowers or borrowees. Whichever one that you fall in those categories are, we going to go in on it today. Because look. Because I, look, it's out there. Every day, out there. every day. Every day. Every day. For the last like three weeks, I've been watching Judge Mathis and I've been watching the People's <laughs> Court. Now look, I'm going to give y'all a look. If y'all ain't ever watched the People's Court, like the older ones, like maybe like 10 years ago, Go back and watch that shit. Cause look, the narrator is so funny. We have the case of a woman who says her cats got stolen in the cat burger. And then the dude at the end, he just go in. So look, so so I've been on my lawyer type shit. You know what I'm saying this week. So you know what I'm okay. saying. So I'm coming with it. Okay. So do you let people borrow your shit? Do of you? course you do. So I want to hear from the people out there. Make sure y'all tap mm -hmm. that like button. Give me a bunch of hearts and likes and all that other shit that come along with that. But share we wanna, this live out, yeah, share, share, this live out, out. share the live out. We want to know, do y'all let people borrow y'all shit? Don't matter what it is. It could be money, clothes, shoes, bags, bread, cheese, egg, your food stamp card, uh, your credit card. <laughs> Uh, your hair and bow tie, whatever it may be. Are are you a borrower, or do you let people borrow stuff? Like are you a borrower? Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a borrower? I'm not a borrower. Yeah, she she, she can't even say the word right. I'm not a borrower. I said I'm not a borrower. Girl, get the dick out your mouth and. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's too early for that, y'all. It's very early. Look, I'm not a borrower. It's a borrower. Yeah, you got to slow it down. Borrower. A borrower. Okay. No, I said it right. So, I got the, the ultimate question, okay? Do you think it's okay for to loan people stuff? Are you asking me yeah, that? Yeah, I'm asking you. No. You don't I so? don't believe. No, I don't believe it's okay to let. So... So this is my this is my motto, and because I had to learn the hard way, we just gonna put it out there like this is a whole show. This is a whole like, show. If you let if you think about letting somebody borrow it, let them have it. It's not yours in return because if you're looking for it back, what if it what if it uh don't fit? What if you don't get it back in the time frame you looking for? What if it's messed up? <laughs> what if it's messed up? Like, no, I don't let people borrow nothing. If, if Baby, if you want it and you say you want to borrow it, I may say you can borrow it. But best believe, baby, you can have it. When I'm not scared to ask for my stuff back, so I don't mind letting people borrow. I know that's right. But see, the thing is, I do and I have loaned people stuff before, but I've gotten so comfortable in saying no, I don't give a damn no more. All right, hey bro, can I borrow? No, I ain't got it, bro. It be just because, like, I'm I'm naturally a natural born giver, so I love to give. But what I've seen in my past experiences that when I start loaning people shit, you don't get it back. I start losing friends. Let me just tell you, I'm it's sorry. It's deeper, because it, it's deeper than that. It gets so it's deep, deeper. because it's like, I be watching all these shows, right? So a dude was like, yeah, well, I went out with this girl, and and her dog got injured, and and she wanted to borrow $1,000. I didn't have the money right there, so I asked, so she asked her. Borrow $1,000. Yeah, no, 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 but people Let's do this. Let's say that. So she bought the thousand dollars. You let somebody borrow a thousand dollars. So group, so really no, but, but look, the thing is, what they always say. This is Judge Matthews always say. He said, "Look, people always don't never borrow shit from people and then be like, this is the worst thing here. I'm gonna pay you tax time. No, they not. Cause when the taxes come, motherfuckers is balling their ass off. They gonna get them them red bottoms. Yeah. They gonna go get some rims. They probably gonna trick off a little about about five hundred dollars strip club." So, yes, that's how it's definitely going to go. Like, you don't, the thing, okay, so let me just say, so she she borrowed the money from her daddy for one day, and Wait, then the boyfriend. on the show? Yeah. So then the boyfriend said, I'll pay your daddy back tomorrow. Just get the money from him. So he paid, he paid the daddy back, but now she owed him. It took oh, like six now months. Oh, daddy owed? No, no, no. Now the girl owed the boyfriend 
And so he got this thing. He like, damn, you know, their relationship. He trying to expect his money back. They end up breaking up over that shit. Cause she like he, she would never pay. So oh no no. But then look, this is the thing about people. Wait, you said that the boyfriend uh, told the girlfriend to get the money from her daddy. Yes, because he he didn't have access to his money that night. He said I can get it in the morning when I go to the bank. But right now it's too late, so I need you to, so if you can borrow from somebody. So she borrowed it for her daddy for one day, because the dad was like, oh shit, your battery's going dead. Okay. So, uh, if her battery goes dead, bring y'all ass over to Instagram, at Poppy Flag. Why would you say that? Nah, because your ass be doing that shit to me all the time. What up, my people? Because that shit it like plays. a 10%. Whatever. But look. So long story short, they end up breaking it, breaking up. But how, the, how? But how does she still owe him money, and she got the money for him? No, she got the money. She bought the. She initially wanted to borrow the money from him. Oh, but okay, he okay, said, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I thought he wanted to borrow the money, so he said, "Get the money." From no, your he daddy. said, "He said, give the money to your from your daddy, and I'll give it to your daddy tomorrow." Because okay. her daddy was like, "I really don't got it," but if it's one day, it's not a big deal. Okay. So oh, well, that's a whole nigga. How can you? Owe, how can you owe your nigga though? You can owe. How your do nigga. you owe your nigga? You can definitely owe your nigga because. Nah, nigga, I, I'm good for it. Goodbye. Nah, that's nah, that's shit. Because again, <laughs> again, it. maybe Goodbye. the nigga should just say, "Nah, I can't do it." Then you're like, "Oh my god, they can't believe." So didn't so did nigga say that? Instead of telling me I owe no, you. No, no, but don't say, no, but th this is the thing. Don't, it has to be understood. Don't say, okay, can I borrow this? They're like, no, are you good? No, don't ask. If I say you borrowing this, that means a loan. A loan is a, is a contract that you put in with one or two Not or multiple people. Not if you don't sign no paperwork, it ain't no motherfucking so, contract. So, so, this is a, so, it's a ver so, look, this is the thing. If this is what I've learned, and, and this is what I'm saying, if you borrow money from your mama, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, whoever, make sure you get that shit in writing. And they said it can be by a promissory note. You can get a text message, email, and when you'll give me that thousand dollars that I loaned you two weeks ago. But the thing is, this is how this is why things go wrong because people who are in a position of power, nope. they do not make them sign that note. But if you if a person is vulnerable and they need that money, I seen one where this girl sit back and she recorded her boyfriend saying, I will give you this thousand dollars, I promise. Because he need that money. So he'll do whatever to get that money. And then the nigga be like, then then they end up lying later on talking about damn, damn, you know what? They look, I watched so many motherfuckers just be lying like I did not say I was gonna uh y'all uh, yeah, got the text messages right here, Judge. Like, damn, what did you mean that? Well, I didn't really mean it was a gift. But it just say right here, like I'm, I appreciate that loan you gave me. <laughs> so it ain't no damn gift your ass is lying. You just don't want to pay that damn money back. You see what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of court shows too, where they'd be like, "Well, I bought my girl a car because she needed a car," and and then he'd be like, well, "I'm taking her to court for a car," and it's like, "But did you buy her a car?" Well, I bought her a car because she needed one, but but the the agreement was that she was supposed to pay me back. But if you don't get it in writing, that's on you, boo. Like, well, the person that takes the person to court. Get you out of it. Like, the oh, he out of it. The person that takes the person to court, they have the right. They have to be the one. What I'm saying, Will, they have to be the one to pursue it. So they got to prove their burden of proof. Right, So right. if you're taking the motherfucker but, to court, then you got to be like, uh, nigga, I got the proof. You have to prove it. Right. But if, if, if. If if she if he doesn't have no if she doesn't have where he says um if she doesn't have where he says oh I bought this for you as whatever like I bought this I bought this as a car for you like as a gift if she doesn't have that then no nah, because he it, should have a look no nah, because if that nigga put it in his name see that's the thing. Fellas, when y'all buying these bitches cars, I mean, excuse, excuse my language. Look, if y'all buying these young, beautiful women cars, look, and you want to take it back, it was never there. I seen something about Quavo, Boss, Sweetie, and Bentley, and he took it back like he was smart because he put the car in his name. That means, bitch, I'm letting he you rent this motherfucker. He took it back? Yeah, he took that shit Why? back. Why? Because they not together no of more? Of course. Like, you're not going oh, to be holding on to my shit. Like, no. Give me them, give me them keys back. He is a sucker for that no, shit. He, this, Nigga, no. you can't buy no girl no car and take it back. You 
Bro, I'm gonna tell you what he did. He didn't buy it. He get leased it to that dude. motherfucker. He leased it. You can drive it. You can't lease it, nigga. You're not no loan officer. Have you? Have you're he, not no finance look, company. Look. Nigga, buy a bitch a car. And give that bitch a car. Okay, we well, should have bought this. Fucking pussy ass nigga. Like, why? What the fuck? You can't buy a bitch a car and then take it back. Nigga, and, buy me a car. That's my fucking car. If it's Are not, you serious? if it's not in your name. Then it is Don't good. buy me a car, stupid. Okay, so if, so if a dude give you, if, if I give you a Bentley right now and it's in my name, you gonna... I'm your wife and I, that's my motherfucker. Okay, name. you know that's what the fuck I'm Bentley, saying. Bentley, nigga, I ain't, you ain't getting it back. You, you know, not getting it back. Take you know, a kid back, take a house back, you ain't getting it back. She knows exactly what I'm saying. Let's just take the marriage part. You ain't getting the Bentley. Be rational. Let's take, take the marriage shoes, part out. Take some shoes, take some clothes. Take a ring. You ain't getting a Bentley. Like, what? It's a whole car. Look, sweet. You really if, get if, a nigga if, look, his car back? Look, if y'all, first of all, she what? had to. Look, let me tell you something. If you go to a car lot and you lease a car, that means you can drive it for like three thousand or five thousand, thirty-six thousand miles, but you gotta give it back. So that's what the nigga did. Nigga said, "You can. I'm a lease this hoe. Here you go. Stud out with your little Bentley. I'm and sorry, then when the relationship's over, feelings. give me my shit nigga, back." I'm sorry, sweetie. Hurt your feelings because she moved on because she's a bad bitch. Actually, don't buy her a car. Actually, I, actually, he was cheating on her dog ass. So how you gonna cheat and then take the car? That's a whole nigga situation, and that's why I ain't got time for these broke ass. Bro. Bullshit ass niggas. What? These look, fellas. She could have bought herself fellas. a Bentley, but you wanted to stunt and you wanted to buy her a Bentley, but then you wanted to be in your feelings and take it back. Let's move on to another subject before this get into a whole nother. What's his nigga name? I don't even know his nigga name. That's why he's a whole <laughs> pointless situation look. at this point. Look. What? Fellas. Okay, okay fellas. Let's look. switch the subject because I'm mad at this point. Stop I'm mad for you, fellas. sweetie. But fellas, what is she? This girl's really in her feelings. I'm right mad now. about it. How you gonna buy a girl a car and then take it back? Have you ever bought anybody something and took it back? Nigga, Have yes. Because exactly. when I used to when I used to talk to you and I was pregnant, I used to put groceries in your house all the time. When I had food stamps and I did not like him, I used to break up with him every other week and I try to get my groceries and he'd be like. These are my groceries now. And I used to be like, <laughs> so, so, so basically, so basically she said so, she's calling herself a hypocrite. No, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, you wanted your groceries back. No, and that's, gro that's groceries? I'm not calling myself a that's hypocrite. That's the government groceries. I'm not calling myself a hypocrite. I, I called you as a hypocrite, though. I'm not calling myself a hypocrite. What I'm saying is, I used to try to go get the groceries and he wouldn't let me get them. So I understood that you can't go get stuff. No, you didn't. Because no you more. kept trying to get them every single time. Like, every time you, ah, uh, they didn't get them groceries. I'm like, no. But I could never get them. So now I know when you give somebody something, you got to give them something. You can't go back and take it. Yeah, but she didn't, read the, she, she didn't read the fine print. That shit said, look, this is a condition A Bentley. She didn't read the contract. See, y'all got to read them contracts. Nah, them contract. nah, them, nah, look, nah. You know how they always say like them little words? That look, on the, look, look at them commercials where they say, hey, you know, we're going to give you this money. Pay attention to that shit. She don't need no money because she a bad bitch, period. What the hell they got to do with anything? Because she a bad bitch. She, she can buy her own Bentley at this point. Well, she didn't buy her Bentley. Oh, she ain't got no Quavo pockets though. But anyway, anyway, who is Quavo? I didn't even know his name. <laughs> was he? Was he in those three amigos things? Oh, so she see, so now she front. She know exactly who the fuck that nigga is. Now, she, who, I mean, who is he? I mean, I don't know how he looks. Little, 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 I'm little. gonna think he's Cardi B's husband because he's in their group. <laughs> so she, so she knows exactly uh, who it is. Um, uh, uh, sweetie's solo. He's in a group. <laughs> yeah. Next subject. <laughs> Look, fellas, this is why. That's why girls don't buy no women nothing. Boys drool. Don't buy, don't buy these tricks. Nothing. Don't buy us nothing because <laughs> if you buy us something, give us, give it to me. That's like you. That's like you. That's like you proposing to a girl and then trying to take your ring back. Oh no 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 no, no 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 no! You want to marry me? You're not getting no. this ring back. Uh, first of all, you. first of all, you're not getting it back. See, see, I've been watching all these shows. First of all, boss. No. First of all, an engagement is a legally binding contract. Look it up. If you do not marry that man, you Does have to. Doesn't matter. By if law. It's a contract. 
You're not getting it back. You're going to have to bring the popo to my house, nigga, to get your ring back. And I'm going to throw that shit across the river. Who going to get it this, back? This woman is on 10 right now. Exactly. Don't start. Look, it is illegal. It is, it, is, it is illegal binding. I'm trying to give y'all some, some knowledge. I, that's what I'm trying and to I'm do. I'm giving you my knowledge, too. She just giving y'all some, some whatever the fuck she giving y'all. No, some, I'm some giving anger. you a woman's perspective. No. You can't do that. It's I'm not fair. I'm you cannot do that. I'm you trying cannot. to keep y'all ass out of jail. I'm trying it to keep y'all. It ain't going to be no jail. Watch. I'm going to say, I don't know where the ring was. Sorry. I'm trying to keep y'all ass look, out of court. I lost it. But look, you know, but look, they say that, but then they be on Instagram like, ah, I got the big ass nigga ring. That's how your ass get caught up just no, like that. No, she going to sell that shit. She going to pawn it. And she going to get that money. Money. Yeah. And then they going to say, uh, we need all money. of that money, what it was worth. We need you to pay that back. Or else we garnishing your wages. You so can't that means, do that. Like, like, like. No, 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 no. You don't watch the court second. shows. Give me a second. She needs Give to go back and watch Judge Matthews. I don't care about the judge shows. What we're talking about here is you cannot let somebody borrow something and take it back. If I let you borrow my hat and you no longer have my hat without a contract, I cannot get mad. I got to give you that hat. I got to suck that shit up. You can't give me no ring and talk about, oh, I want my ring well, back. Hold on. You want your ring back. Why? Most people. Because you thought you wanted to marry me? <laughs> Nigga, yeah. you're bad. Most, Goodbye. Most people. Go find another yeah, bitch to marry and go get another ring. Like I said, most people, they do a lot of business. They do a lot of things without a contract. Most right. people, most people, and so they end up getting fucked. So Ooh. what I'm saying is all y'all people out there, make sure you get some paper. <laughs> this is why I don't need to have her ass behind the music. I, I need to be, so this is like the second time. This is just the second time. Look, if y'all look. Okay, so let's just go in. I'm going to dive in since we went off the whole off of some ball and Quavos, subjects. Quavos and all this other bullshit. Who so, is that? He's ugly anyway. <laughs> this, this girl, I'm Quavo. Quavo, hey, I'm looking for that feature you owe me, nigga. Yeah, you owe okay. him for real because he got your Okay, name. all right, let me go ahead and get through this. Damn. All right, now. Mm. So I got a question. So when you loan something, see, this is the thing about when you loan something, when you loan stuff. Why do whenever you loan something to somebody, you always feel like you feel bad for them? Like when you ask them, like, you don't want to ask them, like, hey, bro, you got that $10? You feel, have you ever, like, loan, borrow, loan somebody some money, and then when you ask them for your money back, they say, bro, I got you on Friday. Then when Friday come, you be like, you got my money? Say, bro, you got that 10 Damn, nigga, I said I'm going to give you that money. Damn, nigga. You calling over ten motherfucking dollars, nigga? Like that's how, that's exactly how it be. It's like, nigga, you needed the ten dollars. I didn't. I loaned you the motherfucking ten dollars. Now I'm asking, for, damn, nigga. Yeah, but, 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 if I thought if I thought you was gonna be bitching over ten dollars, nigga, I would never even ask for. But see, that's the thing. That's the thing. If you didn't really need the ten dollars, you can't ask for it at that point because they like, damn, nigga, you need ten dollars. Like, yes, yeah, you need can. that. Bad? No, it's not that I needed it bad. It's that nigga, you said I. The whole reason why I loaned you the ten dollars, cause you said you were going to pay. Hey, bro, let me get ten dollars. I'm going to give you your money back on Friday. So no, why the fuck I got to feel in my feelings on Friday, nigga? When I'm asking you for my money back, you're like, damn, nigga, you really? Yes, nigga, that was an agreement. I told you I need whether I need it or I want it. I want my money when the fuck I say I want my money, nigga. I want my money and I need it now. And why do people, why do people who borrow money, nigga, they ghost your ass like a <laughs> Look, one time I bought. they never had the intentions to pay so you look, back in the first look, place. Look, one time, and this is just, this is a good hearted person I am. One day, long time ago, so it was one of my uh, family members. <laughs> so I loaned this motherfucker. This motherfucker <laughs> called me. I'm not eating dinner and shit like that, nigga. Like, hey, bro. Uh. Actually, my brother called me and was like, hey, man, cuz, oh, da, 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 he stranded, he, da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, damn. Just out of the kindness of my heart. So I go drive out there. The nigga's car ran out of gas. So I went to the store and got this nigga a gas can. Filled the gas can up. And then gave the nigga $20 to put some more gas in his car. So now I filled the gas can up. It got him to the gas station. Then gave this nigga $20 to put in his tank. Then he's like, bro, cuz, I got you. I'm about to get this $1,000. And I was like, all right, cuz, all right, cuz. 
Then I hit that nigga up like a week ago, like a week later. He's like, I said, cuz you got that money? He's like, oh man. Shit, man, some shit came up. Nigga, why some shit came up? Nigga, I know you just got paid, motherfucker. Pay my goddamn money. Who's that, nigga? Pay me my money, nigga. Stop playing with. Don't play with my money, nigga. That's why I don't know. It was $10. It don't, it's the principle. It's principality. No, it's not. Nigga, that ain't, that ain't what Big Worm said. Nigga, it's the principle. It's the principality. No, no, I'll really. bust your head with this my motherfucking ass. Like, this, this this, is my perspective. When you got big money, $10, that's, $20, that's money you can chuck at somebody. Like, let me give you this money. If you give it back, it's a win. If you don't give it back... I don't give a fuck. If you got fifty dollars to give somebody and they need it, give them fifty dollars. Don't look for it in return. Yeah, the but the thing is, the thing is, it's not to let people borrow anything. You never let but, people borrow it. anything that I give out. It's yours. But we saying if, if you, you do let somebody, back, I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah. But that's 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 made yeah. you in your new life. But don't act. Don't try to act like you ain't never let a motherfucker borrow. So. I've never let anybody borrow anything. I Girl, you be borrowing clothes and let motherfuckers borrow clothes and all that other shit. I don't let people borrow clothes. Anytime I give people clothes, it's theirs. If I get it back, I may but want to wear it again. Let's say, girl, no, 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 no. If girl, I get let it me back, borrow this jacket. And let I'm me gonna, borrow them but shoes. See, the thing is, and they wear them hoes out. You're like, that bitch fuck my shoes up. <laughs> I'm going to get a bitch some shoes. First of all, I'm not going to let you wear my shoes unless I want you to have them. Because our feet are shaped differently. Our bodies are shaped differently. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking I'm about, like, I'm talk yeah, you're talking about maybe the way you are now. But you have, I bet you have blown bitch shit out before. Now you've learned. I was a fucking You've teenager. learned. Now you weren't a teenager because I wasn't even fucking with you when you were a teenager. You was a grown ass, grown ass motherfucking woman. You was a grown ass, old ass motherfucking woman, huh? That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is that, What's look, up, we all learn. We can head. learn from the from Courtney, our past mistakes. I can't wait to see you this weekend, cousin. You getting married, bitch? Okay. Sorry. So what I'm saying is that we can learn from our past mistakes. You're right. But this is just the principles of of loaning motherfuckers money, and they always be mad and in no. their feelings when you and when you try to ask for your shit back. Let me tell you, that's this the is shit the that worst. be pissing me off. This is the worst. When you let somebody borrow your shoes and they give you back your shoes and your shoes is not the way that you gave it to them, and they got they they all out of shape. And bent over and got dirt on them. You like bitches? You walk through the fucking mud in my shit, like just disrespectful for no reason. That's what. I'm no, saying. that's what. That's why I, I had that, to learn from it. That's why I don't be letting people borrow my shit. Cause one time I let uh I let this homie. But hey, 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 let me get this. Let me borrow the shoes for a day. Now I came back and look at them. I look like that motherfucker was just jumping in the mud, playing around in my shit. Like damn, <laughs> nigga, you kicked them hoes now. <laughs> shit, but then like I said, when you ask for your shit back that you that you let a motherfucker ball, now they got a problem. Like they 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 be in their feelings about that shit, man, and that shit hey, be ir that shit be irking me. That's why I don't I don't allow nobody shit no more. No, I don't I have don't, a problem. I don't, I don't have a problem saying no. I ain't got it, bro. I ain't got it. Don't, that don't mean I ain't got it. That means I ain't got, mean, it, I ain't to got it to give. I can I don't got it to lose. Cause I don't know if I give that twenty dollars. I ain't got to chunk that shit up to the game. Yeah, I had a really bad yeah. That that, that twenty dollars ain't coming back. What's up, my boy? Common sense in this motherfucker. What's up, Jay? So what up? What up, fam? Hey, look. So look, you cannot, as a person who's receiving on the other, who's receiving the benefits of borrowing money. There's a word of advice. Stop getting mad because ain't nobody gonna loan your ass shit no more, and pay your motherfucking debts. Pay your debts like when you say you're gonna pay it, pay it earlier. <laughs> that shit if you say I'm gonna pay you on Friday, pay them uh Thursday at midnight. No, nah, because they they, they didn't they didn't them, intend on having the money. Hey, I'm gonna pay so, you if I got twenty on Thursday, pay them nah, on Thursday. So what you so gotta do for it. What you gotta do is you gotta tell them, so look, if you if you know you get paid on Friday, Say, hey, bro, I'm going to pay you back on Sunday. So now you got a grace period in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so it's yeah, about being yeah, smart yeah. about asking, you know, <laughs> it's about having that grace period. But you know, like, when you're paying your credit card bill, you're paying your rent, you're paying your mortgage, you got a grace period. Like, nigga, you got, it's, you, rent is late on the first, but you it really ain't late to the fourth. Damn, a bubble gum? You good on bubble gum. Don't now I feel you though, cause some niggas better be sticking and when they, nigga need that bubble gum. Somebody you know borrowed my lawnmower for a whole year. 
That ain't born. They confiscated that. <laughs> 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 ain't no motherfucking born in motherfucking. Oh, we need a lot of motherfucking house. Girl, we in a motherfucking podcast. We ain't got time to be worrying about that bullshit. Hey, we gotta register y'all. Y'all just let us know if y'all trying to get that link. So what's the what's the biggest thing you've ever loaned somebody before? I would say some money. How much? What uh, happened? Five hundred dollars. And what happened? So with I that? O- I opened up a secured loan for somebody. I had uh, I mean, I was in the process of like building my credit. So I was like, okay, you wanna you want a loan? And they was like, well, I got two hundred, but. You know, I need 300 and I was like, okay, cool. Well, what I'll do is I'll open up a secure loan for 500 and I think I needed like, I think I needed to put down 575 and I had it at the time. So I went ahead and opened up a secure loan. So therefore when they was paying me back, I made it like they could make me $25 payments to uh, build my credit. But then that last year they just dipped off and just stopped paying me like totally. And so, so I mean, I had- you get your money back? No, I never got money So how's your relationship back. with that person? It's it's cool, cause I mean. <laughs> so you was able you was able to just drop that shit off. I still would have been like, cause look, yeah. look, what? Cause see, yeah. I, I I have been a borrower before, so I have been in certain positions, uncomfortable positions where I borrowed something from somebody before. And you know what? It is the worst feeling having to borrow something because every single time when you let them, even if you pay the motherfucker back, when you say you're gonna pay him back, this is what happens. So I, I loaned it. The dude, I needed some money for. I think I need a new car or some shit like that. I don't remember. But so he let me borrow like a thousand dollars, right? I paid him back. When I paid him back, every time I see this nigga, I feel like I'm in debt. Hey, 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 let me hold ten dollars. I ain't got it, bro. Damn, nigga, remember when I lent you that thousand dollars? Every fucking time, I can't look. Hey, Cause they was just they was they was just they was, they, they was trying to warm water to be like, nigga, you got all of my money or you got some of my. No, money? no, no. I've already paid the money back. Oh. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that so now it's like every time I say no, I feel like I gotta do do it because now they throw it in my face. Do you remember that one time I loaned you that thousand? Who else gonna loan you thousand dollars, nigga? It could have been ten years. It was, nigga, it was actually like ten years ago. And niggas like, no, no lie on my mama. Yeah. Look, on my mama. Look, I know you. Oh, on my mama. Don't even say. It. But on my mama. Look, what else could could be? Look, look, on my mama. I just like a week week and a half ago. I'm like, the nigga's like, hey, yo, bro, do, 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 do this, do this, do this. I'm like, nah, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. Damn, nigga, you don't remember what I used to help you, help you out. I'm like, damn, nigga, that was one time 10 years ago and no, I paid your motherfucking ass. No, you know what you need to say? I ain't that nigga no more, nigga. <laughs> No. No, but, 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 but no. What I'm saying is that look, this is what I'm saying. Be very careful what you what you allow people to to be to to see from you because they will dangle that shit over your head for the rest of your life. Anything but, you in debt, like, you and the motherfuckers about, yeah, nigga, remember that one time I bailed you out of jail. But nigga, like, remember that one time, nigga, I saved you. Remember that one time I put gas in your car, you ran out of gas. Nigga, remember you need that car, you get your moving garbage. Nigga, remember, let me you, also, remember I put you on a more job. Let me nigga. also say this though. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let me also say this though. At any given time that you want to wake up and you want to be a new person, you can't fucking be that person. Like, fuck what anybody got to say. I don't do that no more. I don't go there no more. I don't say that no more. I don't want to I don't want to do nothing no more. Oh, like, God, you can it. wake up, no. You can wake up and be a whole new person any given time that you want to be. Don't let somebody hold you to that person. Like, well, you let me borrow money a year ago, well, bitch, I don't let people borrow money no more. You know why? Because, bitch, you, you, you didn't pay me back. So guess what? What up, Max? Like, I don't let people borrow money no more. Look, you didn't. I don't go there no more. You know why? Because I was drunk in the corner. Hey, but you know what? I don't want to go there no look, more. Look, you know what, though? Whenever you do let people borrow money, why every time, and everybody that's loaned somebody, somebody this money or has borrowed money, why niggas always be pocket watching? Be like, hey, bro. You, you oh, you just brought in the bar yesterday. Damn, nigga. Damn. Look. And hey, I then, don't want to buy your shots. Hey, damn, nigga. Hey, I seen you on Instagram the other day, nigga, this chicken in the club. <laughs> oh, bro, that wasn't even my money, bro. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, damn, like, damn, nigga. I'm not making excuses for my life. And how I want to live my life is how I want to live my life. And if you're not included, and I don't want to hang with you, that's just what it is. I don't have to explain nothing. Hey, to nobody. Hey, and you know what? Look, look, word to the wise. 
Don't ever, 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 let a motherfucker borrow your car. Look, I'm gonna tell you, look, cause look, when you get your car, when you get your car back, nigga could have had that dip for the last two years, like, hey, bro, that shit wasn't on there before you got my Or, or, you be driving your stuff for a whole two years, and you drive your shit, as soon as, as soon as the car is parked in front of your driveway, you drive it to the store, and you, and your car runs hot, you like, I knew it was yep, a yep. got my <laughs> shit. Look, 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 the man, the man, before he let you borrow the car, the engine light was on. It was then, he, then he went ahead and unhooked the battery while you was on that hoe. Oh, and then no. he gave back to you and then you start driving the hoe. And then the engine light come on. And then the engine light come on. Hey, nigga, you got to pay for that shit, bro. You can do the whole time. Hey, you owe me $1,500 for a new damages. engine. Look, I'm telling you, people do some real slick shit, man. So you got to be watch. You got to be very careful who you borrow shit from. And my thing is that, you know, I, and I understand because I've been down before. So I can't even, I ain't, I'm the last nigga to try to judge anybody for borrowing something. But just remember, when you borrow shit, motherfuckers, Martin said, when I remember the episode of Martin. What, when, what when, when Cole. I swear, when, wait, 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 pause. Damn, how you going ask me? Wait, 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 pause. Let me tell y'all, this nigga was raised by Martin. If Martin wasn't his, wasn't his daddy or his uncle, I swear for God What's he up? was. What's up? What's <laughs> up? Listen, y'all, this nigga yeah. was raised by Martin. This nigga goes off of Martin's principles. Hey, nigga, that, like, if they make sense, if they make sense. Literally, y'all, I tried to borrow some money from Sean one time. He's like, no, you can't borrow the money from You're going to be that nigga sex slave. Because you know, I said, what? Look, look. What? Look, nigga going to have power yes, over you. Like, yeah, money is power. Like, Man, look, remember that $10 I owe you, right? Go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? You know so, how it is. So, look, yeah. so Martin, so Cole came through one day and wanted to borrow some money for Martin. Wait. But, but, but Martin was around, so he asked Gina. Gina so Gina, Gina gave him the money. money. And Martin yeah. was like, damn, Gina, like, I know, she said, but Martin, you didn't even have it. He said, damn, I know I didn't have it. But when I would have came by, I would have said, hold on, Cole. I would have came to you, asked you for the money. Then you gave me the money. That would have gave it to Cole. So that's how the way you do that shit. Because look, you don't want no motherfucker having no power over you, especially your motherfucking woman. That's my lady, man. And, my and, lady, and like literally, Martin raised this nigga. Cause Martin didn't do me because like, he ain't signed up no, to so weird. He raised this He raised That's my boy, you. though. I fuck, I fuck Listen, with Listen, it'd be a certain situation, I'd be like, I forgot you was watching Martin back in the day. What? I'd be, I'd be like, oh, you went from a scene to a like, two. I'm like, what the fuck is going on up in here? No, it'd be certain situations. I'd be like, I forgot you used to watch Martin. Okay, that makes sense. No, it's just that if, if it's something that I agree with, like the principle, because you even know, like, you talk about Martin, like, situations like loaning money, shit like that, like, it, is that not how we kind of really feel now? We like, kind of like the Martin, Martin day, Martin I don't know about, I don't know about a, a man, uh, owing you money or he owing you, like you owing him now that he done gave you some money. What if I ask one of your homegirls, let me borrow $20? But you wouldn't ask one of my homegirls. I see, 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 see so but it's the same, dollars. it's the same principles. You know, you got to treat every situation as it's the same on both sides, hey, of, the, both hey, sides of the motherfucking thing. All you know right, what, what was you about to say before we started with this? I said, I don't know. We just went in about 20 minutes on some, 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 I'm just talking about borrowing money. And I think I let somebody borrow. I say, oh, I'm talking about cars. Like, yeah. don't let nobody, because you know, that's the tap. Because the thing is, look, you got to understand it's like, so if I let somebody borrow my car. Oh, cars, and let's just yeah. say if you have an accident, you know, sometimes shit happens. Let's say somebody yeah. hits you, they ain't got no insurance. Now you total. What's up, Foxy? Then you total the car, right? Do you really have this amount of money to get them a new car? No. Hell no. So that I mean, like I say, I've done it before. I but I've done it before, and I've I've had niggas get mad at me before for hey, let me drive your car. No. Mm -mm. No, I've had people get mad at me for not even being able to move my shit out the parking lot or move my shit up the street. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you can't drive my shit at all because if I don't got. Sh no, if you can't pay for my whole car, I can't let you even get behind the wheel. It's it's dangerous. It really is. And it's very... I just actually... um, I just talked to one of my agents the other day about... um, She got a roommate. She young. She like... She's probably about 22. If y'all ain't got a drink roommate. in your hand, put a motherfucking drink in your hand. It's, hey. a, mar it's a margarita Mondays. We ain't drinking margaritas, uh, but we was on tequila earlier, so, you know. Um, She... She got, um, 
she got a, uh, one of her friends who stay with her who probably like 19, 20. So they, you know, they young, which I understand. But she was like, I'm going to have to stop letting her drive my car. And I was like, you need to stop letting her drive your car now. <laughs> like, Look, yo, you on your. Wouldn't mind if I knew that person was good for the deductible. She exactly. Is. No, yeah, but, 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 but no, but most but you people. You can't drive my shit unless you can pay for my whole motherfucking car. Like, you can't drive my shit. People, I don't care. But you're not the on thing my is, you know what I'm saying? Most people who even end up having the money, they just always find something else to do with their money. Like, yeah, bro, like, yeah, remember, I'm, hey, I'm gonna hook you up on tax time. But then tax time is like, nigga, the other bills come, now I gotta pay my, I'm behind on my rent. Like, so you, the, the person that you borrow money from usually becomes like the last person on your list to pay them back when you owe them. And that's why, you know, honestly, I would, I would say this, if you wanna keep the friendship yeah. between you and a friend or a family member, whatever, the best thing to do is just don't do it and just say, hey, I, I, bro, I don't even got it. But I can, I don't got a hundred dollars, but how I give you twenty. So whatever you can do with that, whatever you can do with that, because like I say, people gonna get mad at you no matter what. But it's better for them to be upset with you in the beginning because you couldn't do it, rather than now you nagging them because they gonna they gonna argue like you nagging me. I've seen, like I said, I watch the Judge Mathis every fucking day, and it's always friendships twenty years, show, fifteen homie? years. It's a wonderful show. They, no, no, I said that's your new show. You be watching oh, every day. Judge Million, though. They be having attitudes. Them judges be attitudes. Million? Who the fuck that's is That's people's court. That's people's court. But this, is he Mexican? She Mexican. But this I'm saying. Oh. This, uh, she Hispanic. My name is so I'm a Latina. Ah, ah, ah. Look, it's Hispanic. So I don't want to, you know. But, you know, okay. they, every every single show, they be running to say the same situations where it's always about money. Friendships, it's twenty year friendships, money. 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 This we is live. like it's always about that. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah. So, like when you start getting in, involved with all of that shit and borrowing money, shit like that, it's always because if it's not their money, they're not gonna take it as serious as they would. So you serious about your money? They're not gonna take your money because it ain't theirs. Yeah. So they're gonna feel like they can pay you or, back. Or or it's it's kind of like in in an illusion, like it's it's in the air and you don't really even know what you're getting yourself into. So somebody's like, "Girl, drive my car." You like, okay, I'm driving your driving your car to take care of you or for us to be safe and to get home. Even though I may be a little tipsy and you may be fucked up, well, I'm gonna drive your car. But then if something happened, it's still on you. You know what I'm saying? You don't think about it in that situation. So that's also something to kind of like look forward to in the in the future where I may be the person that'd be like, I know I'm good to drive, but I might be like, nah, bitch, we might need to leave your car here and get an Uber because uh, you know, it's, it's, just, it's, just, about, it's just about shit. it's just about what's up, Venetia? It's just about like preserving the relationship with these people because that shit, like I said, it becomes yeah. very dangerous and toxic about like that. It's, it's, it's horrible. I've lost friends. Mm -hmm. I've lost family. And that's just and that's just for me, like little small stuff. You get the avoidance factor where now every time you see them, they avoiding you. They don't answer you, and that's the worst thing you can do. If you don't got it, just tell them. Just tell them, bro, I don't got it this week. Instead of just ignoring the phone call, ignoring for like. Or 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 let's just do it how the loan companies do, and let's get some paperwork behind it. If I let you borrow five hundred dollars. And if I write up a contract, don't get offended when I write up a contract. But they kind of get offended, like nigga, you gonna okay, make me. Okay, so you don't want the money. You, you gonna make me sorry. I don't want five hundred dollars, and you don't want a contract involved. A contract saves me and it saves you. But you want me to give you five hundred dollars without but people, saving but me? That's, why that's they, a big loan. That's why they end up in court because most of them motherfuckers do put. Some of them do put up a contract, Wait, we watched, but then they end up suing them. We watched. We watched. Um, a whole court show the other day where a woman or a girl took her daddy to court. <laughs> one, one Remember that young girl took her daddy to court and she was like, oh, he's always crying. Oh, he's uh, always yeah, crying. <laughs> yeah. He borrowed some money for her and then he just emotional. No, he her. messed up her car. He messed up her tire. Oh, yeah. And he he, he, he bought a new Come on, a brand new goddamn tire. She said, "Nigga, that car tire costs eighty dollars for two of them. That was no damn brand new tire." He bought me a brand. He no, bought me used but look, tires. This what this what happened. He, she let him borrow his her car. Yep. That nigga hit a pothole or some boom busted. Not only the tire, but he messed up her struts. Yeah, he made up her uh, her rim and everything. And then and then he and tried he to bought her two used tires and then left them at her mama house. 
So that's what I'm saying. People, preserve your friendship, preserve your relationship. Stop letting people borrow stuff. It's unless you can deal with it. Just whenever you loan somebody some, just get to the mind frame that you're not gonna get it back. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. the relationship is not ruined. It's because, really, it really and then you has just changed my life. Time. Like honestly, it, it really has changed my life. If I don't have it, I'm not gonna give it. If I do have it, I'm gonna give it. And you know, some people maybe uh, don't be up in my motherfucking inbox asking for a motherfucking thing because this whole week I'm gonna say no at this point because of this uh, podcast. But I am a person that I don't I don't let people borrow stuff. I really just be like, oh. But you know what though? Can I borrow so and so? I'm like, okay, here you go. Awesome. But I don't let you know that you're borrowing it. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you back two weeks later, and I'll hear from you later. Honestly, if, if in my mind, if I give it, if I give it, I give it. So now, now I'm not looking for it back. So if you don't give it back, I'm not going to be in your pockets or in your stories and be like, oh, that's what they doing. You okay, might have to one of them, this pop, one of them story just pop up in the next one you see them out there bottle, what you could say. I'm not going to say nothing. Look, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, into something. Look, I to the next dimension. Words to the wise too. Don't loan people your bill money. Look, if your rent is doing the first and it's a week before your rent, you got it, and the dude say, hey, somebody say, hey, let me borrow $500 to the next week. Don't do it. Do not put yourself no, out of pocket. Don't put yourself but I've seen, I've seen, this is what I'm saying, I see it. They letting people borrow their rent money. Now they can't pay their rent. Now they get kicked out because they let somebody borrow their money. Don't do it. Don't protect your friendships, it. protect your relationships. Look, it's okay with only money to people, but just make sure you get it in a contract to make sure you protect yourself. So if you do have to take that person, I don't believe in taking people to court. So I'm just gonna take it as a loss. I, I, yeah, you, you will never, loss. you will never have me see me taking nobody to court because I'm just like it's not even worth me it's to go not on that. Worth it. But if, if, but if somebody want to let me, if, if somebody want to borrow ten dollars from me. And then we can go on Judge Matthew's show and get some free publicity. Then I'm with it. So if you got okay, to... well, let me borrow two. No, because you're my wife. It don't work like that. We got, I need 200. Mm -hmm. I okay, said like 10. Okay, 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 so talk about you bought me a second ring and then let's go on Judge Matthew. Let's, let's, like, let's make it up. Uh, let's hey, make... No, look, okay. You know why? Because what did this girl say at the beginning of the show? If you buy me a ring, don't want it back. So she, so I ain't getting that shit back anyway. And so Judge Matthew's going to gonna ride with me, bruh. No, yeah, he is. Like you don't know Judge Matthew like I do. Okay, well then he'll get embarrassed too. Maybe not. Look, he a little, he a little, he extra. But I probably cuss him out and get kicked off the show at this point. Look, y'all, because he be doing too much. Anyway, it's seven forty nine. I'm sweating like a fucking hooker in church. Are you? I am. That's why I say I cut uh, the air. It ain't, so even, dripping so it ain't even dripping down. Yeah, because I got this hat on. But let me take this hat off. My shit gonna be, <laughs> my shit gonna be moist. Moist. It wasn't. Moist it's way. not even dripping. Look, girl. You good. I, know, I thought you were gonna take off my head. You know my hair ain't needed. So look, y'all. Make sure y'all tune in every Monday at seven p.m. to the Will Sum It Up podcast, where you have two people, two perspectives, one common goal, and that's answers, people. Answers. So this is where you come. If you so haven't already, people borrow money. If you already haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel at Will Sum It Up. If you don't follow her on Instagram, it's B R U R Boo. If well, if you're looking at my live right now, obviously you follow me. But go follow her ass right now. We ain't playing. This is a team effort, y'all. And period. And look, make sure y'all want to be a part of our personal life. Make sure you start checking the stories this weekend because it's going all the way it's going up. All this is going to be a weekend up. to remember. So make sure you tune in. Comment. Make sure you tap that like button and notification button. Now rock me out. Give me something to rock out real quick so we can rock out. And that's on period. We're going to take this shit back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I need, where are my line dancing people at? You know what I'm saying? My stepping ass people, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't already heard my shit, pop it funny, make sure y'all take that shit on YouTube, uh, Spotify, iTunes, all that other shit. Where the shots at? Where, my, where the bottles at?